All right, now for the hack that I promised here on the calculator. You are going to hit the math button and arrow up that will bring you to the bottom of the menu. It says numeric solver. It's hidden hidden way below the math menu there. You can actually see log base. We've been using that one. Remember option A, as I said earlier? Anyways, hit enter on numeric solver, and you can clear out whatever's there and type in 9 raised to the x minus 6, arrow over plus 1, arrow down, type in 32, we're going to hit the graph button. See how it says OK right there? Those upper guys are, are controlled by your top gray keys up there. Hit graph, and then right now it says 2.8. That's not our answer. That's just whatever was left in there before. It's a guess right now. You could even type in 8. It doesn't really matter. Um, I'm just going to hit that and then hit graph to solve, and look at that. We get 7.5628. 563, exactly what we got before. So this is a great way to check your work on a free response because if you aren't showing work, right? If you're not showing that work, 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 like Rihanna, you're getting zero points, man. Uh, especially if it's on a free response. Multiple choice or ACT, SAT, you're stuck in a jam, throw it in the numeric solver, especially if it's something that's a little bit complicated. Some of these you can do pretty quickly before you type it all in, but uh, make sure you are showing your work. This is a great way to though check your work. Make sure you got the right answer.